Hey what's up everyone and welcome back to our YouTube channel. This video will be a complete tutorial on how to run Google Ads for affiliate marketing. Building a successful affiliate marketing program on Google Ads requires thoughtful planning, execution, and ongoing optimization. So today's guide will be an in-depth overview on everything that you need to know to get you started. First of all, we need to remember that affiliate marketing is centered around providing value as a promoter. Your role is to identify compelling offers, make them even more enticing through exclusive discounts or bonus bundles, and then clearly communicate those benefits to your audience. Once you've done that well, your conversions will follow no matter what. And secondly, we need a tight focus when starting out, so I would personally recommend promoting just one to two complementary affiliate offers within a niche that you have expertise in. And we're going to leverage Google Ads' powerful platform in order to promote these one or two affiliate programs specifically. And once you've chosen your affiliate programs that you want to promote and you have a strategy in place, it's time to set up the Google Ads implementation. So to get started, we want to go to ads.google.com and then sign up for a new account if you don't already have one. You can simply log in with your Gmail account. In order to save some time, just make sure that it's your business email. You will need to agree to the Google Ads terms and conditions and then enter some basic contact information. Additionally, when prompted, you want to make sure to verify your website domain. This proves that you have authority over the site that you'll be sending traffic to and it's required to run affiliate traffic. The second step is that once your account has been created, you want to set up your first campaign. So head over to campaigns tab and then select plus campaign. Give your campaign a clear name like affiliate promotions, for example. And then for the campaign type, choose sales since affiliate marketing is focused on driving conversions like purchases. Next, you want to set up your budget and schedule. So given this is your first campaign, start with a modest monthly budget, like for example, $100 I would recommend to test the waters. You can always increase this over time. Select your target language and location settings based on your audience and offers, for example, English speakers in the United States. And then leave the other campaign settings as default for now. Coming up, we have the ad groups. So within your new campaign, you need to create tightly themed ad groups around each affiliate offer that you want to promote. This organization is crucial. Click the plus ad group and give each ad group a clear name based on the specific product, such as camping tents or hiking boots, for example. And then you can promote one to two offers per ad group. Make sure that each ad group directly relates to the product that you'll be featuring in the ads and landing pages. Keep things tightly matched. Once your ad groups are set up, it's time to create your ads. So click the plus ad within each ad group and select the expanded text ad format. You want to write one to two compelling headlines that highlight the key benefits that your target audience would care about for that affiliate offer, so focus on value. And then in the descriptions, include important details like price, discounts, unique features, and brand. Make sure that each ad relates directly to the product the ad group focuses on. And then finally, make sure the display URL sends visitors to a landing page specifically about that offer rather than a generic homepage. You want to click into the keyword section within each ad group. Here you will find some relevant search queries and terms that you think users would search for whenever they are looking for those affiliate products. You can leverage Google's keyword planner to discover keyword ideas and then see the monthly search volumes in order to gauge interest. Look for commercial intent by your keywords. And then add some tightly matching keywords around each specific offer to target interested searchers. Don't rely on broad or general terms like hiking gear type terms. I would recommend going with the long tail keywords. And then if you want to track the performance of your campaigns, then you need to set up the conversion tracking. So click into the measure section. Under conversions, you can enable import from Google Analytics to connect your Google Ads data with your analytics account. Under analytics, make sure you have goals tracked for purchases, leads, and site visits. This will allow you to see the real conversions driven by Google Ads and then optimize accordingly. Focus on optimizing for purchase conversions as an affiliate, but also analyze leads and site visits as indicators to nurture potential buyers. So your ads are only half the work that you want to do. You also need high converting landing pages, so keep that in mind. You want to send your Google traffic to a dedicated landing page on your site that solely focuses on selling that particular affiliate offer. Don't send people to your homepage. That's a common mistake that I often see. And of course, you want to include clear headlines, maybe bulleted benefits lists, and of course, the customer reviews and the frequently asked questions. But remember to remove any and all distractions. Make sure that your affiliate link for that merchant is clearly visible on the page through the buy now buttons or link text. 
You can use tools like Clickmagic to create affiliate optimized pages with built-in tracking and split testing. And that's all for the basics. Next up, you want to scale up your affiliate promotions with time. So once your program is profitable, here are some tips for thoughtfully scaling up efforts. You want to gradually increase budgets and bids for most lucrative keywords and then offer over time once you have sufficient conversion data. You can diversify into promoting two or three additional complementary affiliate offers. Within your core niche, just build a balanced marketing mix. I would recommend adding YouTube video ads into the media mix for increased brand awareness and channel subscriptions so that you can retarget. With continuous effort and consistency, you can continually optimize your offers, promotions, and landing experiences Google Ads can become a significant channel for affiliate program growth. Thank you so much for watching this video. Hopefully you've learned everything you need to know in order to get started with Google Ads so you can promote your affiliate programs. So if you found today's video to be helpful or informative to watch, then give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you don't miss out on any follow-up content that we can create related to this one.